bloodshed may be over in Mumbai, but the questions just beginning as the tensions are rising between India and Pakistan. India says there is evidence now that the attack was planned by militants in neighboring Pakistan. The Pakistani government, though, condemns the terror attack. But how it, does it impact our fight against al-Qaeda and the Taliban in Afghanistan? John Batchelor is the host of his own radio show, The John Batchelor Show, which can be heard tonight at 7 p.m. on ABC stations in Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, and Washington. And you've been following this, John. Uh, a good or bad in our war to defeat al-Qaeda? Very bad. Good morning, Eric. Good morning. Very bad. Uh, since December of 2001, when there was a Pakistani origin attack on the Indian parliament. This has been a dangerous situation along the line of control. It's a 60-year-old war. Our part in it is recent, but it's very bad for us. Now, the group Lashkar-e-Tabi is suspected of uh, being involved in this. I mean, look, they're in the tribal areas. Uh, there, there are suggestions, reports that the ISI, the intelligence agencies of Pakistan, have helped them and, and have been involved, maybe not in this attack, but have let them operate freely. How does that impact our, our, our efforts? Right now, I would say that the U.S. is secondary here because the British have a much longer record dealing with this problem. After all, the origin of this is the British colonial activity for about a hundred years before the partition in 47-48. So David Miliband is quite capable of representing the American interests. So I want to go to the fact that India is a democracy, a successful democracy. We must trust democracy to out. You notice there have been a resignation already in the, in the Indian government. No resignation is in the Pakistani government, which shows to me that is not a successful democracy if, if it is anything close to a functioning state, and at this point there's doubt. Do you think the ISI, do you think that the elements of the Pakistani intelligence were involved in this? The information from Indian media right now is deep and rich that this was an ISI-sponsored organization, the LET, lashkar e taiba Army of the Good, the training camps in Pakistan, and the comments right now, what we have from the one captured attacker, all point to ISI, LET, and a long preparation, including, of course, the attacks on large uh, facilities in Mumbai, major targets to uh, embarrass, humiliate, and intimidate the Indian military. And I mean, and the way they carry this out is astounding. They say at least it took a year in the planning. They uh, had a ship. They disembarked from that. They hijacked a fishing boat, slit the throat of the captain, went on these rubber rafts uh, and landed in the beach, went in the back in the kitchen. They knew the layouts of the hotels, perhaps who had already been registered in the rooms. What does that say to you, John, about what we could face next? Here's what I don't like about it, Eric. What I don't like about it is that the battle plan represents an al-Qaeda battle plan. This is the same battle plan that Basayev, the now dead leader of the Chechen guerrillas, meant to launch on Petersburg in July of 2006 during the G8 meeting sponsored by Putin. You will recall there was no bad incident because the Russian security forces intercepted and killed Basayev and his gang beforehand. However, it's the same thing. Take over hotels, hold hostages, set dynamite charges, gather the world media's attention, go on for several days, kill as many as possible, and escape. The same battle plan. Al-Qaeda didn't run this. Al-Qaeda is a franchiser. Pakistan's ISI sponsors the Taliban and protects Al-Qaeda. Put all the dots on the same table, and what you see here is that the enemies of democracy represent the people who launched this attack on Mumbai. And these enemies uh, threaten us here. We've had uh, similar type of warnings about hotels in our country. Uh, it is up to us. John Batchelor of The John Batchelor Show, which can be heard uh, Sunday nights. Thanks, John. Good to see Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Jamie? And we'll be talking to Congressman Peter King about that.